what makes Tabitha Tobolewski so popular? I mean, it's been around for so many years, but certainly there's something in 2019. Yeah, I, I think it's uh, a combination of uh, the physicality, the athleticism. Uh, that's something that crosses all languages. So, you know, like we have we have fans all across the globe, and that's one reason why. Uh, obviously, with, with promos, that's, uh, that's something that's, that's language specific. But with the action uh, and the wrestling, that's something that you can understand and appreciate across any language. Uh, there's that, and I think uh, what we're able to do, with, where sports isn't always able to do, is to tell a story and have a narrative that's able to extend uh, from week to week to week. Uh, and that's something that, you know, obviously we don't always nail it and we, we always strive to, but when you when you tell a great story, when you tell a story like what Poker was able to do uh, beginning of this year into WrestleMania, that to me is so compelling. Um, you know, the fact that we got people sending videos of themselves crying when he, when he won the title, you know what I mean? That, that's something that really grabs your attention. Someone uh, being having every barrier possible put in their way and somehow finding a way to break through those barriers, I think is something that people all across the globe understand. So I think that's what we're able to do. When we do that well, it's tremendous and really grabs people's attention uh, and is really captivating. Last time, uh, many rumors uh, speak about uh, uh, possible partner deal uh, on the Coffee Kingston. How do you think it's possible? Absurd. It's absurd. We've told people, and in fact, I sent a tweet many years ago that we have purchased burial plots together. All three of us. When we die, we will be buried together. We will be entombed together. Maybe in the same casket. Maybe just shove all our bodies in the same casket. But the new day is forever. There are no plans, zero, to ever break up. The new day will go on forever and ever. And ever! <laughs> Which is the stronger stable? The OC and the AJ Styles or the New Day and the WWE Champion Coffee? Look, the OC, first of all, AJ left them by themselves for years so he can go on to his own superstardom. He left them. You think they're a strong stable? They just got back together. And they're doing some great things, don't get me wrong. Gallows and Anderson are incredible athletes. Obviously, we've been in the ring with them many times, and they always push us to the limit. But as far as strength of their bond, that, that unity, there is none. Because AJ said, you know what? I don't need y'all. I'm going to go win all these world titles and let y'all fend for yourselves. They just came back together. Ooh. For, for those Joe Quinn, just sorry in case you know there was a reason we interrupted. My man Joe Quinn brought me some some egg bites. That's why I exclaimed. Not pancakes. They are not pancakes. They should be. They should be. They should be. But anyways, the OC, very talented, but their bond, ha! I laugh. I laugh because there is no bond greater than the bond of the new world. Uh, all these years now you've been together, obviously nobody thinks you're going to break up. What's it been like this journey from start to where you guys are now? Like, What do you think? It's been incredible. Um, the fact that we were, realistically, we were three guys five years ago. We were three guys who were just trying to get on TV. We were three guys who were all kind of floundering in our careers. We all felt like we were very talented, but we didn't really have an opportunity to express our talent. And the three of us came together and initially it was horrible. The idea that we came out with, people did not gravitate to. They yelled us, they yelled at us that we sucked. They chanted, New Day sucks. And we're just three guys, three good-hearted men trying to come here together to entertain you. People talk about all these underutilized talent. Well, we're underutilized talent. We're not being utilized and we're here trying to give you something and you're gonna chant loudly that we suck. So there were some very rocky beginnings, extremely rocky, but we were able to push through that, mostly because we had a, a will that we would not be denied. We had a desire to do something that people would remember for a very long time. And I think it's a testament to our talent. I think it's a testament to, uh, this is very corny, but that never say die, never quit, because it's very real. I, I figured if this doesn't work, I may not be here. I might be fired. I might be doing something, you know what I mean? Like, I might be sent back down to NXT or just fired altogether. So this was like, we really have that make or break mentality that we have to make this work and we're gonna pour our all into it. You know, we didn't just show up to work and we work a lot, we're on the road a lot, but on the days off when we're home, we're sitting here emailing each other, texting each other ideas. Uh, we would go out like we, this was something that we, the new day was something that we were consumed with and we were obsessed with making it work. And I think that's the reason why we're still a thing five years later.
and you know, tag team champ right now, the new day now, yes. this generation, a lot of people are looking up to you guys, like maybe other generations that looked up to Harlem Heat and other guys. So what does it mean to you that so many uh, today's youth are looking up to you? Yeah, man, we want to, obviously our goal is to entertain people of all races, creeds, uh, everything. But for us, we also take, uh, there's no shame uh, at all in, in saying that we take a certain pride and also representing people who look like us. The fact that uh, black and brown kids can, can see someone who's successful in our industry that resembles them, I think it's something that we're very proud of uh, as well. So uh, it's cool to be there. You know, we wanted to break out the box of, of being something that's uh, stereotypical as well. You know, we're all a little weird and we like uh, things like video games or anime. We have different interests. So uh, just kind of we wanted to tell the youth, the children, that you can be yourself, that you can experience yourself in many ways like one of my good friends plays with Green Bay Packers I'm sorry he plays with the Lions now he actually played for the Packers for a long time just ended up with the Lions but he's enormous he's uh, Mike Daniels he's 300 pounds uh, and he's uh, very successful in the NFL but he's also a nerd so it's you know he likes anime and Dragon Ball Z and he loves cosplaying so we want to show people like you can do those nerdy things but also be an athlete at the very highest level so that's kind of like the message as well is is uh, being yourself as trite and as corny as that can be I think there's an important message there that you can be unique and weird uh, and also have these different interests and, and just like, be, feel free to express yourself as you are.